Hello everybody, welcome back to the workshop. So in this video, I just have a really cool announcement, something that's pretty big for the channel. Um, I've been waiting on getting a new camera for several years now, and I was able to actually finally uh, afford to pick one up. And so I think it's going to make a huge difference to the content here on this channel. So how big of a difference, you might ask? Well, we're filming on the Panasonic Lumex G7 right now, and that's been my mainstay camera for about five years now on the platform of YouTube. And now we're gonna switch over to the new camera. Boom, how do you guys like those apples? So this one is the Panasonic Lumex S5 camera. I stuck with the Panasonic brand um, because I really like the, all their features and video help for um, you know creators like myself here on the channel. I hope that this will lead to better and better production quality and values um, straight out of the shop. And I hope it'll help better the uh, visual explanations and content here that I do on the channel. I really hope that this will up the level of teaching and instruction that I can do going forward. So what does that mean for the little camera? Well, the little camera, what are we going to use this for? We're going to use this for a B cam or, uh, you know, like a secondary camera, if you will. It'll always be used in live streams as well, which is another great benefit about having two cameras. Now we can have a A cam, a B cam, and a C cam all in that same vein that we can use for our live stream. So I can actually have one that's focused on, say, the fire per se, right? I can have it actually focused on the fire when I'm doing forge welding, and I can have a, a specialty lens on there to where you guys can see in the fire and actually see what's happening. At the same time, then I can pull it out and I can have one at the anvil and then we can have our main cam where you can see more of the shop and more get a better feel of the workspace. So on the little camera, I'm set out at, a, at its widest possible shot to take and get the widest shot in the shop and that is at a 14 millimeter. In the camera world, since it's a crop sensor camera, that means I have to times it by two which turns it into a 28 millimeter versus on the big camera, I'm sitting at right at 20 millimeters on the big camera, which is the widest shot that it can get. And since it's a full frame camera sensor, we don't have to do any sort of math to figure out our shots and our angles like that. So I really hope that this will help out with my personal workflow in the filming. Other benefit, is on the little camera. We can't do 4K on this camera. We can do 4K imagery, which will you know really clean up the picture that you're viewing right now. But the problem with the 4K imagery through the smaller camera is it would make it punched in even smaller yet. Versus on the big camera, we're already filming in 4K and 30 frames a second. So as you can see, there should be a noticeable quality difference. So that's really about it. I just wanted to uh, mention that. Another quick shot bonus and an upgrade. As you can see behind me, there is no more light coming through all of uh, those cracks anymore. Because it's been covered up, I have been able to fully side the barn. That's taken about three years of savings to be able to save up enough that we could save, that we could actually put um, sheet steel on the outside of this barn. And so now the shop is fully closed up for winter, which is going to be awesome. I can't tell you how awesome that's gonna be as we live up here pretty far north in Northern Michigan. So I'm super excited about that. And it will also help with the filming as well keep everything more regular and you won't see a bunch of uh, artifacts and freaking your eyeballs out <laughs> anymore whenever I move the camera around. Um, hopefully that will help all the content on this channel. So for the eight of you that actually clicked on this video and liked what you saw and watched it, um, you, you know, and actually chose to watch this, I know this is a bit of off brand, but I wanted to take and share this with you for those of my 
loyal supporters that always support Jessica and I. I really hope that you uh, enjoy watching where all of your support is taking us. It's hopefully taking us to continued brighter and brighter futures. And uh, oh, trust me, I'm not gonna be a camera review channel or anything like that. I just wanted to show you how I am using that support to better the channel and uh, just thank you. Thank you to all my loyal supporters and subscribers out there. So with that being said, thank you to all the channel members that make content here on YouTube possible. Thank you to all the channels, uh, all the channel subscribers who hit the like button and share and, and watch my video content. We really couldn't do this without you. So from the bottom of our heart, thank you. God bless each and every last one of you. And we'll catch you on the next video.